Coming up, we'll take a tour of the hardware and design of a Surface Hub, a new class of device we've built that'll give you a large screen interactive all-in-one computer with a fully immersive experience. Best in class 4K resolution using an optically bonded screen that supports 100 touch points and inking and touchback, allowing you to control connected devices from the Surface Hub. We designed the Surface Hub to be instantly ready to use right out of the box. Just plug in a power cable connected to the internet and go. Or you can configure it as a domain join device to make it a fully integrated part of your enterprise infrastructure. Let's look at a few key aspects of the device. By taking a fully integrated approach to the stack and owning the whole experience from the silicon to the sensors to the OS, we have created a clean and focused experience. The hub is designed to be intelligent and aware and ready for you to use as soon as you walk into the room. What makes this possible is an array of sensors including passive infrared sensors and ambient light sensors that wake the Surface Hub up from sleep. Surface Hub is Skype certified for both video and audio, with many built-in features to enhance the video teleconference experience. Since a great teleconference starts with great audio, Surface Hub has front-facing stereo speakers optimized for human voice to hear remote participants clearly and naturally. And a four-element echo-canceling microphone array is incorporated at the top of the device, continuously balancing the sound between the presenter close to the Surface Hub and someone at the far end of the room, so remote participants can always hear. For great video performance, we have placed cameras on either side of the display, at eye height, instead of the more traditional position above and below the display. This provides a very natural view of the room for remote participants. These 100-degree field-of-view HD cameras are tilted in towards the screen to capture the whole room, including interactions right up next to the screen. And at the heart of Surface Hub is an optimized version of Windows 10, running on its own custom-designed Surface Pro class computer. Surface Hub 84 is equipped with a Core i7 processor, dedicated 8 gigabytes of RAM, an NVIDIA Quadro K2200 GPU, with four gigabytes of GDDR5 RAM. For networking support, we have gigabit ethernet, as well as 802.11, AGNN, Miracast, and Bluetooth 4.0 support. And we have a custom cooling architecture designed to minimize distracting fan noise and keep the interactive surface cool to the touch. The Surface Hub comes in two sizes, the 84 inch touchscreen that you see here with a 4K display and a smaller 55-inch Full HD display. We built a factory from the ground up and developed custom manufacturing equipment and processes to be able to build a screen this size with the performance that we wanted. And what we wanted was the touch and pen precision and fluidity you find in a Surface Pro or a Surface Book, but on a display that's 42 times larger than a Surface Pro. Like the rest of the Surface family, Surface Hub starts with the cover glass that is optically bonded to minimize parallax error, increase the stiffness to feel great under touch, and to dramatically improve the quality of the displayed image. To deliver the touch and pen performance we wanted, we developed custom sensors, silicon, and software to minimize inking and touch latency. Both the display and the touch sensor refresh at 120 hertz, so you never fall behind. Now the pen itself is physically different from those found in other Surface products. We made the body larger and brought the balance forward to make it easier to hold when using vertically. And we designed a larger nib so that using it on the anti-glare screen feels just like writing on a whiteboard and not glass. The technology just seems to disappear. With Windows Pen, you can use touch and pen simultaneously. Because you can do them both at the same time, it is crucial that we have excellent palm rejection so that inadvertent touches with the side of your palm while you are writing are not mistaken for desired touch inputs. Now our touch sensor has 100 simultaneous touch inputs, allowing us plenty of headroom to reject those undesired touch inputs. Now each pen has a unique ID, and in the whiteboard that means I can assign individual characteristics such as color to each pen. Using a projected capacitive sensor, the sensor can detect the presence of my pen as I hover above and know not to draw until I contact the surface. Like the rest of the surface family, the pen senses 1,024 levels of pressure, so I have fine control over my ink stroke.
We also make it easy for you to connect your own device to the Surface Hub. Along the bottom of the device are our inputs. If you desire to drive the Surface Hub permanently with your own computer, you can connect using the DisplayPort and USB inputs. For more typical use, we have display ports, HDMI, and VGA inputs, along with multiple USB 2.0 and 3.0 ports to be compatible with most PC and video sources. We also offer display port and audio out for display mirroring and are compatible with many conference room control systems. Lastly, we have a gigabit ethernet port. You can also connect Windows 10 devices and many Android devices wirelessly using Miracast. Using Miracast with touchback, you can use a companion device, such as the Surface Book here, to present an even control directly from the hub. Using USB connections, you can interactively control the Surface Hub, even if it's not a touch-enabled device, such as the Mac. So that was a quick tour of the key components of the hardware and design of the Surface Hub. We hope that you get the opportunity to experience the unique scale and quality of these devices yourself. You can learn more here at the link below. And please join us next time for more in the series on Surface Hub design, user experience, and management. Thanks for watching.